Is Sergey Brin back after four years after stepping down from Google's helm? And why does it matter that he's back at Google? What exactly is Gemini? According to recent reports from the Wall Street Journal, Google co-founder Sergey Brin was seen visiting Google's Mountain View headquarters in the last few months. It says that Brin's retirement was cut short to help Google through its AI projects. As per the reports, he is now actively getting involved with Google's new AI project, Gemini. He is attending meetings, working with researchers on technical matters, and helping to measure the performance of new AI models. Sergey Brin and Larry Page are the co-founders of Google and its parent company, Alphabet. Alphabet oversees other companies like YouTube, Calico, Nest, and Fiber, etc. In 2019, both Brin and Page stepped down from their roles as executives of Alphabet and Google, but decided to remain as board members and shareholders of the company after handing over the company to current CEO Sundra Pichai. According to reports, they wanted to focus more on their personal lives and endeavors like philanthropy. Now Brin is back at Google and laser focused on developing Google's most ambitious art artificial intelligence projects, particularly Gemini. Gemini is a highly anticipated artificial intelligence model from Google DeepMind and is expected to outshine OpenAI's ChatGPT. But not much is known about Gemini at the moment because it is still in training and is expected to be available only later this year. However, reports suggest that Gemini would be a more foundational model that would power other AI models. OpenAI's ChatGPT, an AI-powered chatbot, was launched in November 2022 and made massive waves within months of its launch. It is a neural language processing tool powered by AI technology, allowing one to have normal conversations with a chatbot. Its success was so huge that other tech companies, including Google, had no choice but to rush and release their own versions of AI chatbots. Google released Bard, and Microsoft released Bing Chat, and there are even talks of Apple releasing its chatbot. But ChatGPT has its limitations, the biggest being the lack of quality in its answers and a high rate of being incorrect. Another limitation being its knowledge is limited up to 2021. Google unveiled Gemini earlier this year in May at its annual developers conference. According to Google, Gemini is highly efficient and a multimodal tool. It is designed to be able to integrate with APIs and tools to enable future innovations like memory and planning. It is expected to push the boundaries of technology and AI and enhance our digital experience. The main purpose Google intends for Gemini is to take on ChatGPT. Gemini's artificial intelligence model could mean a breakthrough in AI innovation. It uses deep learning and neural networks to process vast amounts of data and intuitively understand and comprehend human language. It can analyze patterns and context more quickly and accurately, interpret and respond to natural long queries. Google's commitment to ethics and responsible development ensures that ethical considerations such as bias, privacy, and transparency are addressed. Google is aware of the importance of AI for its future and its dedication towards the AI community. Gemini is an AI model developed by Google DeepMind. DeepMind is famous for AI projects like AlphaGo, which won a game against a human expert in a game of Go, AlphaFold, which can predict protein shapes accurately, and AlphaZero, which can learn games without prior knowledge. Creating Gemini has its challenges because of the sheer scale and complexity of training it. Training large language models requires massive amounts of data computing power time, energy, and money. Gemini could outperform ChatGPT in producing diverse and high-quality text. Unlike ChatGPT, Gemini is built from scratch and is multimodal. This means that it can process varying data inputs like images, texts, and audio. It will also be able to integrate well with various software tools and APIs. Also, it is designed for future growth with abilities to recall fast information and envision future scenarios. Gemini could also enhance and optimize the Google search engine and Google Voice Assistant and make them much smarter. It could also upgrade BARD, Google's chatbot, which was introduced to compete with ChatGPT. Gemini could also offer new creative outlets like writing stories and songs 
to teach languages and other topics. It might also be able to provide other fresh entertainment options like jokes and games. Meta, earlier known as Facebook, recently launched a new language model called Llama 2 with Microsoft. Llama 2 was created in a research lab inside Meta by a team led by Jan LeCun, who was one of the founding fathers of neural networks. Llama 2 can help people in businesses and create tools using AI. It is mostly available as an open source software, but really big companies have to get special permission from Meta to use it. Llama 2 is also multimodal and can work with text, pictures, sounds, and videos. Meta also claims that it can do its job using fewer resources. According to Google, Gemini will be even better than Llama 2 and will be smarter, like AlphaZero learning new things on its own, and will have more tricks up its sleeve. It can do more than write text, it can create code, and even draw pictures, and much more. Google's AI strategy, led by its CEO, Sundra Pichai, seeks to take advantage of its strengths and assets in AI research, engineering, and infrastructure to create services and convenient products that can benefit billions of people around the world. Google has been investing heavily in AI research for years and has been successful in building a reputation as a leading company in AI in the world. Google has also successfully acquired the best AI talent in the world and has the best AI resources and capabilities in the industry. They have produced groundbreaking AI research and innovations that have successfully shaped the field of AI and beyond. Sundar Pichai is a huge advocate of AI and aims to make Google an AI-first company. Pichai saw the potential of large language models and generative AI and was instrumental in making decisions during Google's efforts in this area. Pichai issued a code red after the launch of ChatGPT, which prompted the company to accelerate the research and development of AI projects like Gemini and other LLMs. Dimas Hassabis, who is the co-founder and CEO of Google DeepMind, is also instrumental in developing Google's AI strategy. DeepMind has made significant advancements in AI and pioneered deep learning and reinforcement learning and deep reinforcement learning, which combines the two techniques. Hassabis, who also has a background in neuroscience, is a visionary and a genius in artificial intelligence and leads DeepMind. Google acquired DeepMind in 2015. Hassabis is also behind the world's most creative and advanced impactful AI systems like AlphaGo, AlphaFold, and AlphaZero. Hassabis is also the leader of Project Gemini. According to reports, Demis and his team plan to use the same techniques that helped AlphaGo defeat a human Go expert and make Gemini more efficient. DeepMind plans to use reinforcement learning, which they pioneered, to give Gemini novel capabilities. DeepMind has also been instrumental in exploring the potential risks of AI since ChatGPT came into the picture. And hopefully, they're also mindful of the ethical risks involved in AI. So it seems like Google is determined to win the AI race, and Sergey Brin being back could very well be an indicator of it. What do you think of Brin's return to Google? Do you think his re-involvement will help Google lead the AI world in tech industry? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.